Good morning. Welcome to Elevated Outdoors. I'm glad you joined us today. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but I'm the world's worst procrastinator. That's what people keep telling me. I haven't taken the time to look that up and see what it means yet. Um, I've been kind of putting that off because I don't know it might mean something bad. I don't want to get, don't want to ruin the good vibes. Um, but if you're watching this, that means I've finally got something done and got a video uploaded. So this is the Elwood part two. Hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Nice. It's a steep hike, but the falls are really, really pretty and scenic. Okay, I'm gonna try to go up the side, see if I can get above the falls. I'm not sure yet. It's my first time being here. Actually, this is my first time being anywhere around here. Lived in the Four Corners area my whole life, but never got a chance to come up here. All right, so I made it to the top. The falls is right down there. That's a steep little hike. Unless you're pretty experienced, I wouldn't. Would suggest doing it, because it could be kind of dangerous. There's some real slick rock. And as you can see, there's some slick, loose rock and dirt down a little bit lower. So you have to be extremely careful. So that was a nice little detour. Hike up to the falls. It's a pretty short, slightly steep uh, hike, but super fun, extremely beautiful. Enjoyed it a lot, but we're about to get back on the road. All right, this is the VRBO. We've rented for this weekend. It's a little bit different than the reviews. I think it's about a four star, I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think the cleaning has done a pretty good job. Nice it's got, facilities. yeah, nice curtain facilities. Nice it's got, can accommodate one, two, three, probably put two. You can probably get 12 people in here. I Might have to have a couple cots, but. I need a couple rugs, but the rest yeah. of I think it's pretty nice. I think, I think we'll take it. The only thing I'm not too happy about is it has no views. It's like, it was supposed to be scenic and everything. And look, all there's, there's, there's nothing but trees. Definitely cool. It does have a refrigerator. So that's a plus. But yeah, there's, there's nothing around here to see. As you can see, the outside is super ultra-modern. 
like Art Deco, I guess you might call it. But yeah, all around, I'd say it's a, compared to different VRBOs that I've seen, it looks pretty good. Okay, so we're taking another detour. We're gonna climb up there. My family probably wonders what's wrong with me. But you, I see a, a mountain or a hill that's bald up there like that one is. I just have to climb it, so. Right now we're at about 11.3 is our elevation. We're gonna see what it is up there. I wasn't really going to film that much going up, up there, but look at the view just from down here. Can't imagine what it's going to be from up there. Okay, as you can see, we've made it to the top. The girls are not really speaking to me. But look at this. We go up a little bit further. So I guess it wasn't all the way to the top. But all the way where you could see where we came from was down there. This one's made a little stack. Add one more to it. You can see for a long, long ways. We came up from down in there, around to here, and over to there. Look down through there. Edge. Nothing but slide. I'm gonna go a little ways higher. Go up there. See what the other side looks like. So I've reached the highest point that I'm going to. I think. I don't know. I might. I might have to go over there. Just a little ways more see down into that canyon. Yeah, I'm going to. Guys, if you know anything about me, you know that I, I love being up a high place. I love being able, being able to see over everything. I'm six six, so that helps a lot. But I get to one ridge, I think that's probably as far as I'll go, might be the highest I go. But then I see another thing, another ridge, a little bit further, and I just, I have to, have to keep going and see what is over the next ridge. So, we're gonna go check that out. Hey, up here I found these rocks, and it's got a registration bottle, so you can see who all has been up here. I'm gonna fill that out and head back down the trail. I just want to say this guy says 
finally found a spot with no people. And he is completely correct. There's no one around here. There's people down the trails and stuff. But this is this is really where I need to go. You don't want a whole bunch of people on all the trails and stuff. Here's another one that's completely correct. It's Jim, Nancy, Joy, and Mark. The earth is the Lord's and is the Lord's. H5. Okay, about to head back. As those summit registries are so cool, it's always great to know who's been up here, where they're from, what what they thought about it, their personal comments. Hey guys, I almost forgot the elevation at the top of that peak right there is a little over 9.5 if my phone is correct. So just I forgot I've been forgetting to set elevation. So we've gained a little over 600 feet in elevation from the very bottom. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna head back down. Yeah, we're gonna head back down the off this hill and get back to the road. So this so this top part up here, the first one we get to, is about eleven eight six. So you gain quite a bit of elevation going up there. This is what you can see from the road. Once you get up here, you can see it goes higher. I definitely recommend going all the way up to the top. It's super beautiful. Views from the other side are really cool. They might not be quite as scenic as this. You can't really see quite as far. Well, no, you can see, you can see further, but you can't see mountains right there close. But still extremely beautiful. Definitely recommend going all the way up there. About to drop off the side of this right now. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. I can see it pretty well. There's tracks there. They go up there and then they go all the way up along the top. So there's a sign a little ways back there, right there by the vehicles that says Closed to all motor vehicles. And unless you're illiterate and can't read, you might not you might not know what it says. But it's pretty easy to tell that they don't want people coming out here and like that. It's ca it's going to cause some one person that it might not do a crazy amount of damage, but one person does it. More people are going to keep doing it, and the erosion it causes is crazy and it it will destroy all this beautiful land that we have to explore. And like, just, you don't have to be a crazy environmentalist to care about what God made and his creation. Just don't be the people that take something up there when they definitely shouldn't. And it's steep, you, you could, if you weren't worried you could not even care about the land. But you could go up there and roll your Jeep or your side by side and get hurt or hurt someone else that you love. But definitely just don't don't be those pe people. Just stick to the roads. If you want to, if you want to go up there, get out and climb. Take a hike, get out of the vehicle, get some exercise. It's definitely going to be worth it. Okay, so we got back to the vehicle. We're going to head up the trail, finish Elwood, and go back through. Uh, I think we're going to hit Summitville. I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure we're going to hit Summitville and go up through Del Norte. But enjoy the hike. 
it's always nice to get out of the car, even though I haven't been in there for too long. But get out and go and climb, go and climb stuff. It's my favorite part of doing this stuff. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.